What's happening troops? Ensign Virtual Boy here, reporting for duty. Hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to Gundam Battle Operation 2. So today we're sorting in the Gundam Marine type and it's in the new... I think it's called Military Port? Uh, the new map anyway. It's almost all underwater and it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it so far. I've also been able to use a lot more suits that I don't usually use, uh, including the Gundam Marine type, but I've been using the High Gog and a couple other ones that are marine based, so super fun, although I will say that if there's too many people in the one spot at once, it does kind of lag a little bit. I don't know if that's because I'm playing on my PS4 and my internet connection isn't the best, but it is quite noticeable. The frame rate does drop. Apart from that though, the map is fantastic, it's absolutely huge, and it's really fun to play. So like I said, I'm in the Gundam Marine type. It's got a beam rifle, but it can also use the, I think it's the Aqua GM. Uh, it has a missile launcher, so it can use that as well. I don't have it, unfortunately. It's also got like a little claw arm thing, and like a harpoon shooter thing, which is really cool. And it's got like a, a small beam dagger, I think it's called a beam pick. Oh, I think that's another uh, Gundam Marine type. Yeah, you see it's wee pick there. So yeah, if you're if you're playing this map, I've had success in water or amphibious type suits and flight type suits. So if you're going to do anything in this map, I would choose a suit that can transform or a water type, and you're going to have a good time. So gonna try and finish, yeah, I managed to finish off that uh, Gundam Marine type there, my team managed to whittle him down a little bit, whittle his health away, so I'm gonna back up a bit here now. I think that's maybe a Blue Destiny unit there, get a destructive assist anyway, so yeah, the double beam saber, so I think it's, I think it's a Blue Destiny unit too. It's another Gundam Marine, I think it's two Gundam Marine types there, another assist. Yeah, I was doing, I was on this map earlier today as well. Uh, it was an un unrestricted mix it up. Nice kill. Uh, yeah, unrestricted mix it up. Usually when I go into unrestricted maps, it's 650 or 700 cost suits all round, no exceptions. But because it's the marine map, I'm getting a whole selection of different uh, marine type, Gundam marine types, uh, high gogs. I can't remember what the rest of them are called, but you know, the, all the amphibious looking suits. Which is strange, because they're coming in at like costs of 400 and 500. Just managed to tag him from a good distance there. Maybe if I'm lucky, get another shot on him. Nah, not quite. <laughs> you know how my aim is. But yeah, I was super surprised to see that. 400, 500 cost suits in an unrestricted room. It's not something you see a lot of, or it's not something I see a lot of anyway. So I've got two of my team here, I think it's another Gundam ground, uh, Gundam Marine type down there. I just get tagged in the back by someone. But I'm going to stay here. Managed to take the shot off as I was coming down. Got the counter tackle on him. Maybe I can get a melee in here from Lucky and uh, the enemy team are here with me. I might get taken out here actually. But yeah, the Gundam Marine type is a suit I've heard a lot about. I've come up against it lots uh, in quick matches and I've fallen victim, uh, fallen victim to it many, many times. So I pulled one, it was during the anniversary. I think it was during the free spins or one of the free 10 pulls. On my alt account, I managed to get the Gundam Marine type. So I have heard it's been nerfed since I got it or it's been nerfed previous to me getting it. So. It's not quite as good as it used to be, but it's still a good suit. Managed to take out the pilot down there and his suit as he was trying to capture the point. Let's see if I can do some damage on this. I think that's a Blue Destiny unit again. And I was taken out. Let's see who by. Yeah, Blue Destiny unit too. You can tell because it's got the, the two beam sabers. It's also got exam mode, so. Now right, let's get back into this. We've got a good lead anyway, so. Scoot back over at my team. Maybe take a while because of the size of the map. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a. I think there's 
maybe three or four ships on top of the water. You can see one straight ahead there. They're destructible, like the rocket in the Arctic base. So that's really fun to play with. Uh, a few matches ago, I was in the unrestricted one. I uh, was using... Oh, I became the ace. Nice. Two Marine Gundams is the ace. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was doing an unrestricted map uh, match in this map earlier. And there was an XS Gundam hiding on one of the ships. And I was underneath sniping the ship away until it exploded and he fell down into the water and I managed to take him out, so... I think there's a... Mm, I'm not sure actually. I think this is maybe a 400 cost room. I think that's a... Full armor slave wraith up top shooting down into the water. Got another assist there which is nice. Missed that shot by a mile. <laughs> That's me using my wee harpoon gun there. If I'm lucky, uh, just out of range. I think I'm maybe going to get taken out here again, yeah. I was being foolish. It should be sticking with my team. But both of the aces have been taken out already anyway, so it's cool. Yeah, full armor slave wraith. Up top on the land, shooting us in the water. Come on down into the water and fight us, bro. Okay, the enemy team have managed to close the gap a little bit, points-wise. Uh, was going for the melee there, but got stunned. If I'm lucky, I can make it. Nah, I keep getting stunned, but I think, yeah, there's someone behind me. Stunned again. Come on, come on. Missed. No, I actually hit him. But, yeah, I finished him off with a harpoon gun. Man, that was painful. <laughs> now I'm stuck with this blue destiny. Sorry, I've got advantage on him, but he does have a lot more weapons to choose from. It's that full armor slave wraith again up top. And I just fell into a, a trench there for some cover. Not too bad. That boy Destiny's still chasing me though. I'm almost out of health, so he's got the right idea. Just managing to get back here. Took him out with a snipe shot. Nice. Extra points because I'm the ace. Oops. All my team are saying fall back for now. Uh, there's no real need for that because we're winning, so. I put the chat Sugji on! <laughs> we're not going to lose at this stage anyway, only 10 seconds to go. Going to do my best to avoid their ace in these last 10 seconds. Do a bit of zigzagging. <laughs> And yes, I made it. So that was one of my first rounds in the the new military report map. I think it's military report. Uh, it's super fun to play in. I would suggest using a transforming suit or an aquatic suit. I got top individual score, top assist score, and top damage dealt, and I beat my rival. So as you can see here, there's a whole range of that's three uh, Gundam Marines on the other team. We've got two Aqua GMs. Mag on the marine and I think the raid is another aquatic suit but anyway I come in first five kills and two deaths not bad so thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed this round everybody have a shot at the new map it's super fun to use like I said aquatic suit or transformable suit is the way to go so yeah thank you very much again for joining me today take care everybody Ensign Virtual Boy signing out see you soon